Hey there everyone, my name is Eduardo Arroyo, but you can call me Ed, and today we're here exploring Baker's Beach here in San Francisco, California. <laughs> oh. Yes, you guys, you heard that right. Today we're here exploring Baker Beach here in San Francisco, California. If you guys didn't know, this video is part of a series of videos that I'm making of San Francisco. In these videos, I will be taking you to really cool locations around San Francisco instead of taking you to other cities since the COVID-19 situation is still going strong. This is the city I live in. In fact, most of my videos are about San Francisco. So if you guys are interested, I'll leave a link to the playlist in the description down below so check it out anyways you guys the goal of this video is very simple I'm gonna take you to two locations the first one is gonna be a really cool view of the Golden Gate Bridge It's close to the north section of the beach and the other one is related to the history of this whole area so if you guys are interested come with me Hey there everyone, we just made it here very close to Baker Beach. Baker Beach is over this way, let me show you. So I'm standing in this trail as you can see. This one takes you all the way to the sand ladder. I will tell you guys a little bit about that in a bit. And uh, I don't know if you can see, I, I don't think you can because it's covered by this greenery. But over this way, this, all of this is Baker Beach. And if you turn to the right just a little bit, you can see the Golden Gate Bridge just peeking in the distance. Right there. And this little trail right here takes you all the way to this viewpoint right there. That is one of the most like popular viewpoints uh, to take a look at the Golden Gate Bridge. But I promise you guys we're going to get a good view of the bridge once we make Make our way down to Baker's Beach. So I decided to start the video right here you guys because this is exactly where I was dropped off. As you can see there's a little section right here with parking spaces. I don't think you can stay here for too long but this is great for dropping people off and uh, it's very close to Baker's Beach and to the sand ladder that I keep mentioning. It's such a beautiful day today here in San Francisco you guys. I say we make our way to the beach. So we just made it to this sort of like entrance that leads you to the sand ladder. All right, you guys, let's make our way there. You will find a little plaque right here as you're making your way to the beach that talks about the flora and fauna that you can find in this area. But as you can see, it's been vandalized. But oh my, you guys, this view is truly amazing. And we're not even at the beach yet, but check this out. And we can actually see more of the bridge from this angle so we are already on the sand ladder you guys it gets its name because this staircase gets covered with beach sand and it's super steep so it looks like you're climbing a ladder instead of a staircase and i do want to give you guys a little tip it is a beach so you would understand that there's a lot of sand right even in this staircase there's so much sand that it's for sure gonna get in your shoes so if you decide to come here or any beach for that matter make sure you bring some shoes or sandals that you don't mind getting messed up with the sand for this reason you guys i brought my little water shoes they're not the greatest thing in the world but i sure don't mind messing them up i really like going down this staircase just because you get some amazing views as you're going down as you can see that's the beach that is the pacific ocean you can see a lot of people right here the occasional ship in the distance and just the nature that is around this place. It's beautiful. And we made it right to the bottom you guys. Check it out, the sun is like right there. That is wild. This place you guys, it's so amazing. Too bad it's like, far enough 
that it's like kind of inconvenient to get here from my house I live uh, close to another beach ocean beach so I usually go to that one when I want to go to the beach but come on you guys you cannot beat the view of the Golden Gate that is exactly where I want to go next close to get a better view so let's make our way there you guys so we are actually on the north side of the beach closer to the Golden Gate as you can see but there's still more beach that way the first reason of why this north section is so popular is because this section is officially a nudist beach so yes you guys clothing is optional once you get to this section of the beach don't be surprised if you see naked people running around or anything but if you're really not into that you guys you have this whole southern section of the beach open for you we're almost there you guys as you can see we're just a couple steps from this like little unofficial viewpoint it's just like a couple of rocks where people go on top of to get a better view of the bridge that's where we're going and we're pretty close and by the way you guys i just saw my first bit of nakedness and i don't know why i was surprised i was just finishing telling you guys but uh yeah i saw it so it's real i can confirm and the second reason why this north section is so popular is because and i didn't know if this was like common knowledge or anything like that but i for sure didn't know before deciding to make this video but this section of the beach used to host the original burning man art festival all the way from 1986 to 1990 and so after 1990 the police started to create more like restrictions for this event and so by that time the statue was only allowed to be raised but not lit on fire which is kind of like the main reason for burning man or the main thing that it's known for so that's why they stopped doing it and from what i read that event is still a thing till this day but now it takes place at the black rock desert in nevada and boom just like that you guys we made it to this unofficial overlook the path is not super accessible it's not supposed to be that way it's just a bunch of rocks like i said so just take your own precautions i am gonna go through you guys just so that i can show you the views like i mentioned at the beginning there is quite a bit of traffic all of those people just got off this rock so uh just keep that in mind Check it out you guys, I just made it all the way from that rock over there. I had to climb this place free solo and I made it all the way here to this rock where I'm sitting at. The way here you guys was honestly kind of precarious so I wouldn't recommend unless you want to see this amazing view with the waves and everything. Check out this amazing shot, so wild. So there you have it guys, we made it over to this little unofficial overlook hopefully you guys liked it uh, like i said it's really it's really dangerous i'm not i'm not gonna lie but yes you guys like i said this place is really popular for photographers and also for videographers like myself a really great place to get some cool shots and just admire the beauty of the golden gate i've been living here for two years and it still blows my mind and as you can see you guys this place is not only great for photographers or vloggers like myself there's also fishermen that take advantage of this prime location. Check it out you guys, he actually caught one. That's wild, that's so cool. And just like that you guys, my free soloing adventure is over. And I'm not gonna lie you guys, I'm a bit happy because it was a bit scary up there. Anyways you guys, let's go to the next location. As we make our way to this location, I want to show you 
I would like to tell you a little bit more about the history of this place. And I think a good place to start is with the name, Baker Beach. The name Baker Beach originates to the first European settlers that came over to San Francisco. Back in those times, this area was known as Golden Gate Milk Ranch. And today, this whole area is part of what's known as the Golden Gate National Recreation Area, which is administered by the National Park Service. And check it out, you guys. We just arrived to the first section of what I want to show you, but uh, I want to keep walking and see if if I can find something else but can can anyone guess of what this is any guesses in the comments let me show you real quick this area right here what is it I'll give you guys a hint it is part of this next section of the history that I want to talk to you guys about so this place was a military base from 1812 to 1904 so a very very long time and you can still see signs of that till this very day oh nice it's still there I was banking that it wasn't the last one I didn't see it on the other ones but it's here thank goodness what you are seeing right here you guys is a full-blown cannon check this out so those sections that I was showing you over there and this over here they're part of the same thing so we are currently located at the battery Chamberlain Chamberlain is the name of a famous person, general, I can't really remember. A battery is a military term referring to a strategic protected section stacked with artillery. And as you can see, this whole section is one of those. So as you can see, these cannons right here have a really good vantage point and they were used to protect this area and fend off enemies. We can actually head down here for a little bit. Let's go. So these right here, you guys, these were removable cannons that they would take out if they needed to defend against any enemies and then they would bring in and put them away from the elements. So this would have been one, you guys, two with this one over here, three with this one right over here, and four with this last one right over here and if we take this path over here you can get boom an amazing view of the golden gate bridge i know we saw it closer right over by those rocks but this view is also amazing let me zoom in bam there it is you guys the view of the golden gate from the battery chamberlain and with that you guys i think it's time for us to head back to the beginning We made it back to the beginning. That right there is a sand ladder. And from here, we can also see an amazing view of the Golden Gate Bridge. All right, you guys, I'm gonna call it a day. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, I'm gonna ask you to please click on the like button and subscribe to my channel if you wanna see more cool and interesting travel videos just like this one. Remember to check the link to the playlist of the San Francisco videos right in the description. That is all you guys, just to remind you to be kind, have an open mind. I'll see you next time.